Good morning, my name is Kip Rumens with Travis Industries. Today we're going to introduce you to the GreenSmart 2 Wall Mounted Remote. The Wall Mounted Remote has some nice features on it. So when you've touched the power button to turn it on, you'll notice that the thermostat icon up here in the left hand corner has lit up. You can change your thermostat functions from thermostat off, thermostat on, or thermostat smart mode. The Green Smart Wall Control when you turn your power on, it'll display what your thermostat setting is. To change between your thermostat setting, you select thermostat once, twice, or three times. Right now it's in thermostat off mode, which means I have full manual control of my Green Smart remote. So I can press the bottom mode button, so I can toggle over to fan, and I can move the fan icon up and down. I can go to lights, I can go to the back burner, and I can go to the main burner as well and toggle up and down. If I change my thermostat remote to thermostat on, which right now it's set at 41 degrees, I'm going to bring that temperature up. When I bring that temperature up above my set temperature, my, my stove will turn on. I can also still toggle between my main burner, my fan, my lights, and my back burner. The next choice for thermostat is smart mode, the most popular way to run your unit. And the reason why I say it's the most popular is it gives us the most ability for comfort control in the room. Smart mode allows the unit to sense the difference of temperature between the remote and the setting on the room. So here we're four degrees difference between what we want the temperature to be, I'm going to make it four or five degrees. The different, we want it 80 and it's 75 in the, in the room right now. So the unit's going to come on on high. As it approaches the 80 degree temperature, the flames will diminish and it'll slow down. This is like cruise control for your gas product. So the flames are going to be on high when it's cold in the room. As it warms up in the room, the flames will diminish and drop down to a lower setting using less gas. The warmer it gets in the room, the less gas is used. The colder it gets in the room, the more gas is used. So it'll just fluctuate between a high and low setting based on the difference, difference in temperature in the room. The mode button on the wall mount remote allows you to adjust your, either your flames, your fan, your lights, or your rear burner to the on and off positions or up and down. So when I'm in the main flame icon lit up, I can actually turn that flame all the way up to a high setting. I can go to the fan and then I can turn the fan all the way up on high. Touch the mode again and I can go to the lights and I can actually adjust the intensity of the lights which has six different adjustable settings same as the burner same as the fan on the back icon this icon here is for the rear burner I can actually turn the back burner off or on so I can adjust for climate control let's go through the mode buttons one more time the mode button down here at the bottom allows you to toggle between flames fan lights and back flame so when you press that button, it'll move the icon over so it'll display fan. If I press it again, it'll display the lights. Now I can toggle up or I can toggle down on the lights. If I press it again, it'll go to my back burner on or off. That means I've, I've changed the temperature of the unit and I've changed the amount of gas that I'm going to use on the product. Press mode again, it'll go back to the main flame icon. The wall mounted controller can actually be taken off and placed in different areas of your home for comfort control. It also allows you to access where the stickers are right located right on the top of the remote and the stickers show you each one of the mode buttons, shows you the icons next to them, so it explains what we've been talking about in the video. The wall mounted remote allows us to adjust between intermittent pilot or continuous pilot operation. The way you do that on the, on the remote is the screen is off, the power is off to the unit, and I press the mode button. It displays intermittent pilot. Intermittent pilot is great for 80% of the year. When it gets real cold out in December and January in some colder climates, it might be longer than that, you'll need to go to continuous pilot operation. To do that, you press the mode button, toggle up, and you're now in continuous pilot. The continuous pilot will keep your flue gases warm and keep your air coming down into the firebox, making the unit work better in cold climates. We recommend you turn it into continuous pilot when it gets below 45 degrees. Your GreenSmart 2 unit is equipped to run during a power outage. The unit runs on 110 power normally. During a power outage, there are four AA batteries located underneath the unit behind the on-off, the manual on-off switch. 
You don't have to do anything. There's four AA batteries there that'll run the unit for up to 21 days. If you haven't refreshed your batteries in about a year, you'll typically only get about a day of life out of those batteries when you're running on 100% batteries. Change out your batteries and you'll be right back up and running. And the synchronizing the remote is real simple. Press the program button on the battery box underneath the unit. Press the power button on the handheld itself or on the wall mount and you'll be up and running. A lot of customers want to know how to run the interior lighting on the fireplace without running the fire in the on position. And that's simple to do. Simply with the icon lit up here, all I would have to do is bring my flames all the way to the down position, go over to my light, have my lights on, or I can adjust my dimmer on my lights down to about halfway. Now I've actually got my lights on, so I've got some activity look in my firebox and I've actually got the burner all the way in the off position and the burner will not come on even if the temperature is set for the remote to come on. I've manually turned the burner off. Child lock protection is available on the Green Smart remote. If you don't want anybody to make any adjustments or to be able to turn your unit on and off, simply press the mode and the up arrow at the same time and the little lock icon will come on and that will lock out the remote so no functions will operate until you unlock it. Simply to unlock it, Press the mode and the up arrow again, and that unlocks the remote. To change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the remote has to be in the off position, which means none of the icons are displayed here. Simply press the thermostat and the mode button at the same time, and it'll display Celsius. Press those two same buttons again, and it'll go right back to Fahrenheit. We at Travis want to thank you for making a purchase of a GreenSmart 2 gas product. Thank you for watching the video today, and welcome to our family.